In this video, I will show you exactly how to unlock your WhatsApp two-step verification pin. If you have either, if your WhatsApp has either been hacked or you have forgotten the pin and you don't know how to get access to it. So when you open and you see something like this, so what you're supposed to do is um, you click on the forgot pin. When you click on the forgot pin, uh, you will get to this particular level where it will ask you that if you added an email address while setting up this two-step verification, you can reset your pin via email. Alternatively, in one day, this one is saying in one day, it was actually, normally you will see in six days, okay? You will see in six days. But this one, they're saying in one day because the person actually clicked earlier on the, and, and it says six days. So he has been waiting till today is the, the fifth day. So that's why it says in one day. So what you will have to do is that it will tell you that if you don't have the access to the email, you have to wait for six days or seven days. So normally when you get to this particular place, the user, if your account was hacked, the one who has hacked your account, he has been logged out. Once you are able to register your number back on the phone, but it is only now being logged by the two-step verification. You have already logged the person out. So if you don't have the two-step verification pin, or if the email that has been used to reset as the reset email for the two-step verification pin, if you don't have access to that email, you don't have a problem. You just have to wait. In six days time or seven days time, normally it's seven days. So after seven days, it will open and allow you to continue without the two-step verification, or it will ask you to reset it without even having access to the email that was connected to it. This is exactly, this is a security measure, and this is how it works. You may decide to contact WhatsApp support, but even when you contact WhatsApp support, they will tell you the same thing. And if you want to contact WhatsApp support, you click on the three dots at the top right-hand corner, then you will see help and support. You click on the help and support. They will ask you to describe the problem and attach screenshot. You can attach it and send it to them and they'll look at it and help you get a solution. But the truth is that um, they will tell you to still wait for the seven days. So you better just wait. When you get to this level, just wait for the seven days. After seven days, it will open and for you to be able to use your WhatsApp again. If you follow this procedure and you don't get the, the issue resolved, leave your comment in the comment section. You can also follow the WhatsApp link in the description to WhatsApp us and we'll be able to help you get your issue resolved once again. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.